enjoyed this video, you guys should subscribe, become patrons over on Patreon to support the channel, and remember to follow me over on social media. So, I don't do reactions to the trailers. A couple people have asked me for a reaction to Cat Blanc. I don't do reactions to the trailers because usually they have spoilers, and what's the point of a reaction if you already know what happens, right? But I saw craziness, okay? I saw things that I just didn't, like what is happening in this episode, right? Just from screenshots and people discussing and things like that. So I decided that I would update my theory about Cat Blanc because I made one a couple weeks ago. If you guys didn't see, I did make a theory that is probably wrong now, okay? Because I did not account for something, okay? I like did not even have this in my mind sphere of, hey, what if this episode everyone forgets after it's done? Like Oblivio. Because you see Bun X in this episode and we're gonna talk about that, but I'm pretty sure that at the end of the episode, no one's gonna remember what happened. And I've tried to record this video a couple times, guys. So please forgive me, like I used the whiteboard and then I did something else. Like I just did a bunch of versions of this video but I didn't like how any of them turned out. So I'm hoping that this one, this is the one, like this is the one that we can do it. Okay guys, so the way that we're gonna do this is you guys are gonna see me and this at the same time. And I think that that's good. So first of all, okay, so we're gonna do this sort of in scenes. First scene, all right, Adrian's like back from fencing practice or something, like he has a medal, he goes into his room, he sees Ladybug and then Ladybug darts outside, right? She drops something off for him and then she like, boop, and then she goes away. Uh, but then he sees what she dropped off for him. It's a present, but it's from Marinette. And so he sort of looks up, has this realization, and I think that he is going to realize here, he's not gonna be oblivious like usual, he's not gonna be like, Ladybug and Marinette know each other? Like, no, he's going to realize that Ladybug and Marinette may be one in the same right here. Like, he's gonna think that and he's gonna get all excited about it, right? But then it changes, okay? And it's suddenly raining outside. And this makes me think that something has happened between these two scenes. Like, basically, I think that this is where sort of the weird time travel stuff comes into play. Because I don't think this is happening literally right after. Because it was sunny over here when he was giving the present. And now it's like Marinette has an umbrella she's crying like there's a bunch of stuff that is sort of going on here right and so I think that something has happened in between these two points I don't think that Adrian's like I gotta run outside for her like maybe they were like hey you know meet me here like tomorrow at six o'clock and Adrian was late like for some reason and now Marinette's upset and she's crying like who really knows she could also be crying because maybe Adrian like you know she dropped off the gift as Marinette and then Adrian may have like, I don't know, texted her or said something and was just like, like, Marinette, like, I, I saw you as late, I don't know, like maybe the reason why she's upset is because she realizes like Adrian has sort of hinted at that he knows her identity and now she's like crying and she's upset because she knows um, that this is like, this is no, this is not good. I mean, it's pretty stressful to think, wait a minute, like the love of your life now knows that you're also Ladybug, like all of that stuff. So that's no good. So for some reason, Marinette is crying. So to me, time has like clearly passed here. So I feel like they either had, I don't think they had a conversation because obviously like Adrian is coming out of his house. So I don't think they've actually talked to each other yet, but something has made Marinette so upset that she's about to get akumatized. And I feel like if she knew that Adrian knew that she was Ladybug, she would literally start to freak out. Like there are so many possibilities if, you know, Adrian texted something like, Marinette, I got your present, like, meet me here at six o'clock tomorrow, my lady, or like, like something like that, like just something, I don't know, just something like that. So obviously Marinette is really upset here, but I do think that time has passed. I don't think that this is literally right after he gets the present. She's waiting in the rain and she's like really upset by something. And so you see that the Akuma is coming towards her. So who really knows? This could have even been, I don't wanna get too conspiratorial, but what if this was like, Gabriel's doing? Okay, so here's basically what I'm saying. What if Gabriel, like, or so, like whoever, saw Ladybug, like, move out of, of Adrian's room, if that makes sense? And so what if, like, Hawk Moth did something to trigger this situation? Or even with the help of Lila to make Marinette upset like this to akumatize her on purpose. Does that make sense? He's like, why is Ladybug just coming in and leaving stuff in my son's room, you know? 
And so maybe it was that sort of situation where maybe even Hawk Moth is starting to know like something, something is happening here. Or maybe like putting the ladybug stuff aside, he knows at the very least that Adrian got a present from Marinette. And if he can sabotage his own son, possibly using Lila, she would be upset enough to be akumatized. And that would be like a whole thing, a whole thing. Thing. And he, again, like I said, he could be targeting Marinette on purpose because he somehow, like, put two and two together like Adrian has. Like, oh, like, I saw Ladybug leaving your room. Obviously, he wouldn't say that to him, but he would be like, so, son, like, what do you got there? And he's like, it's a present from Marinette. And Hawk Moth is, like, putting the two and two together of Ladybug just being in Adrian's room and the present coming from Marinette. Like, you know what I mean? And so maybe he's trying to akumatize her on purpose. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah, clearly time has passed unless it literally just got overcast right here. And I do feel like this episode is dealing with time and multiple timelines. So it is possible that this was like, like this situation happened like in the, I guess the regular timeline. And now things have started branching off into like bad territory. Um, and that at the end of the episode, Bud X will go to Ladybug or Marinette before she does anything and go, hey, don't do that, sis. Like, we'll basically start where we began this episode at. Does that make sense? So now let's look at this. Okay, so Adrian is running and Gorilla's looking outside. So clearly, like, something has happened right here. So Adrian's running outside. He turns into Cat Noir in front of Gorilla. Okay, in front, right in front of Gorilla. And I don't know if Marinette is making this face because she sees Adrian turning into Cat Noir. I would bet that it's possible that she did see that. He activated Cataclysm and just, you know, snatched it to try and kill it. So this is where things go into two different directions, okay? Either this is what gets him akumatized because like there's a reason that like the Akumas need to be purified by Ladybug, okay? There's clearly a reason. So it's possible that this is just not it, sis. Like, this is just not going to work. And so he's going to get akumatized right here. The other option is, is that something else will happen here, but they are going to play sort of the long con. Like, Hawk Moth is going to play the long, the long con, right? So you see this, right? You see this where Hawk Moth, and this is before Cat Blanc. So Hawk Moth is showing off Emily, right? And Emily in her state to Adrian, who is Cat Noir. So my sort of two different branching paths here, the most likely one is that Gorilla saw Cat Noir turn into Adrian, and now that Cat Noir is, like, weak and gonna detransform, and Marinette just can't, like, transform in front of him. Like, I, I bet that Marinette, like, booked it after this, and that Gorilla just, like, Wah! like, this is a disaster. And so Gorilla just snatched, you know, Adrian, and Hawk Moth now knows that his son is Cat Noir, right? So basically what I'm saying is, is that if he did not get akumatized because of trying to cataclysm the Akuma, if that makes sense, he's gonna get akumatized because he was basically like, like Adrian was low-key kidnapped by Gorilla, brought into Hawk Moth's basement, and Hawk Moth is now showing him Emily. And this is what actually akumatizes him. Like, this is what turns him into Cat Blanc. Not any, like, not just by touching the Akuma earlier. Like, this is what does it. That's sort of my perspective. The other alternative is, is that he was akumatized, but immediately, somehow, because they're connected by the mind or whatever, like, Hawk Moth now realizes that Cat Noir is his son. And so instead of transforming him right away, he shows him, like, Emily to maximize akumatize him. Does that make sense? Because Adrian should really have no negative emotions at the moment. Like, he found out the love of his life is a marinette. He just rescued her. Everything is good. And so even if he did touch the Akuma, that's not enough negative energy. Or at least that's what I would think. So I would say that he's still sort of controlled. Like, remember in the finale, like, Chloe didn't change costume right away after she got akumatized. She talked to Hawk Moth a bit for, like, a bit longer. And then... It happens, so it's possible that, like, if Adrian, like, touched the Akuma by doing Cataclysm and that, like, actually akumatized him, Hawk Moth could be like, Cat Noir, I am Hawk Moth. Y you know, come into the basement. You're gonna want to see this, right? Like, let me show you what has been hidden from you for so long. Like, just something, something like that. So, yeah, basically, 
no matter how it happens, guys, the core of my theory so far is this. The present thing happens. Adrian knows that Ladybug and Marinette are one of the same. Marinette has been upset for some reason. Hawkmoth is going to akumatize her. He is, you know, sort of foiled in a sense because Cat Noir, like, snatches the Akuma. But regardless, because Gorilla saw, you know, Adrian turn into Cat Noir, eventually... Cat Noir gets dragged into the basement, whether Gorilla captures him or Hawk Moth, like, you know, tells Adrian, um, like, Gabriel's like, son, I want you to come with me for a minute. And Adrian's just like, uh-oh, uh -oh, like, what did I do? And then they both go to the basement. He transforms into Hawk Moth, so Adrian's like, uh-oh, and so he transforms into Cat Noir, but then they see Emily, and that is when another Akuma is released, and he gets akumatized that is what i would sort of say about that that that's how he gets akumatized in a cat blanc in terms of marinette's story and all this though here's what i was sort of thinking and that's part of the reason why i wanted to redo this video was because i had like another idea so here's my other idea guys okay ladybug now knows cat noir's identity possibly like it is possible that she knows right because i don't again i don't know if like when she turned around right here she saw eight like i don't know if she turned around or if she didn't turn around like i don't know if she saw adrian turn into cat noir but remember master food like she is like um, you know, Cat Noir may find out my identity, and, like, Master Fu's like, you very well know the consequences of that. Like, that's what he says, right? And so here's the thing. What if the reason why this timeline happens and why Bun X has to come is because, you know, Ladybug goes to Master Fu, has Marinette, and she's like, Master Fu, I saw Adrian Aggress become Cat Noir, and he knows that I'm Ladybug. Like, we can't do this. Like, we just can't. I have to give up being Ladybug. I'm so sorry. Like, this is a disaster. Like, this is literally a disaster. Like, I can see her sort of doing something like that where she's just like, I broke the rules. Like, I broke the rules, Tiki. Like, how could this happen, right? Because that was said in other episodes. You very well know the consequences of that. And so I feel like this episode would show it. So I feel like the first thing that Marinette would do is freak out to Master Fu. And Master Fu would be like, listen, it's not safe for you to be Ladybug anymore yikes right and so this is where bun x may come in and so bun x i think snatches ladybug possibly before she gives the present or even just like snatches ladybug regardless like i don't know like she gets ladybug and brings her into the future that was created because she gave the present right and this is what happens right so she's seeing what happened after she gave up being ladybug possibly or just after she did this in general that cat blanc has basically destroyed france and nobody's around to stop him because she had to give up her miraculous because she knew that adrian was cat noir right and so he's been akumatized france is like underwater okay with adrian's like tears about his mom it's just everything's just destroyed so that's what i would kind of think is that it's again it's either one of two things that marinette sort of gave up being ladybug and so Bun X sort of like snatched her before she like was gonna give the present or had the idea of giving the present or whatever. Like, hey, like Ladybug, I see you got something that you're doing there, but come with me. Cause obviously Bun X can't be like, hey, you giving the present caused some issues. Like instead, right before Marinette like sort of does it, uh, you know, Bun X can be like, hey, I'm from the future, drop all that, we gotta go. And Marinette's just like, we gotta go. Like, where do we gotta go, <laughs> right? And then Bun X is like, you'll see snatch and then come up here so that's what i mean by this episode being confusing timeline wise because that would be like that would be the confusion um and that this is sort of the future and marinette has to put everything back uh, to the beginning and by then like by the time she gets sent back into the past uh by bun x like everything's fixed she doesn't like know why cat noir was akumatized or she doesn't like remember like they all just get memory wiped up uh, but the idea would sort of be like maybe by the time bun x and all of this happens like Marinette's just lost her nerve when it comes to giving the gift to Adrian and it never happens and so this whole situation is avoided because that's really like the end of this episode right it's like Bun X coming back from the future to be like hey you wrecked the future sis like I was with adult you and adult cat noir but you wrecked the future sis so she's gonna have to go back and stop Marinette from doing the action somehow and at the end of the episode Marinette won't do it anymore and that's why this is basically like not canon to the current 
chronological sort of thing of the show. Like, this is why nobody knows who each other is in the finale. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And maybe even, like, Bunnex discour like, discouraging her and taking her out is why she's not pursuing Adrian anymore. But, yeah. I don't know why freaking Sabrina is at the end of this episode. Like, what relevance? Like, I don't know if they were just showing, like, different miraculous clips to get people to watch it and then they showed that because I'm like, that's the only thing I can't figure out. I'm like, what does this have to do? Like, what does this episode have to do with anything? Like, what? Um, but yeah, so that's basically my theory, guys. So to recap, right, Marinette, as Ladybug, gives the present to Adrian. Adrian, like, puts two and two together, right? A bunch of other things happen, whether Ladybug feels rejected, it's the next day, she knows that Adrian's onto our identity, and she's, like, freaking out, because she's just like, what if Adrian, like, doesn't like me like this? Like, you know, all that stuff. Or even Gabriel knows that something's going on, and he's like, hmm, I can use this somehow, right? Some sort of nonsense, right? Ga and then what happens is, is that Adrian, like, runs out, transforms into Cat Noir in front of Gorilla and in front of her, if she turned around in time to see him do that, right? She's like, hey, Master Fu, I can't be Ladybug anymore. We know each other's identities. This is horrible. Like, this is a disaster. Oh, boy. Right? Like, oh, no. You know what I mean? Like, that could be bad. Um, something like that happens. Possibly. And that's why Bun X is, like, bringing her um, into the future. Because in the present, she's not Ladybug anymore. Yikes. And then, we obviously have this, where Adrian sees what happened to Emily. And I'm pretty sure that's what gets him akumatized, right? Because his dad is finally <laughs> explaining him what happens. And that is what gets him akumatized. And that is why, in the future, Paris is basically underwater. Because Cat Blanc has sort of wreaked havoc. But, you know, Hawk Mop maybe did that, like, to, like, hey, we gotta find the Guardian, and so, like, we'll just have to, we'll just have to drown him out, I guess, like, you know what I mean? Like, by making the water do this in Paris and, like, tracking down the Miracle Box, because if he's like, why isn't Ladybug showing up, you know what I mean? He may figure out that, oh, she gave... Uh, her miraculous back or it's time to find the guardian or something like that and that's why you know Cat Noir is just waiting around on the roof because he's like why isn't Ladybug coming back for me like no one's trying to stop me up here I'm just taking over the world right that's why Ladybug has to come back from the past and all that stuff so even though this episode won't be relevant right like in terms of everyone remembering what happened like oblivio like oblivio it's interesting because you get to see how adrian reacts to news that he's not going to get for like a bunch of other seasons you see how adrian's going to react to marinette being ladybug and how marinette will react to adrian being cat noir like you get to see things that we will not get to see in the show does that make sense it's sort of like an au right this is an alternate sort of universe and you get to see the characters reactions to things without those reactions having a lasting effect and some people are going to like that some people aren't going to like that right I know the reveal is gonna happen later, guys. I know so many people were mad that it didn't happen at the end of season three, and I'm like, guys, in what world was it gonna happen at the end of season three anyway? Um, but yeah, so that's sort of my thought, is that these episodes are cool because you get to see all the characters react to something that probably won't happen for a long time now, and you get to see the what if. And I think that in a sense, it's almost sort of like, an interesting metaphorical thing in a way because you get this idea where it's like like this is what happens when the reveal comes too early it's poetic that's what i should sh <laughs> it's poetic that's what i should say is that like in i guess like from the writer's perspective like from thomas estruck and like all these you have all these fans that are sort of yelling at him to like do the reveal do the reveal and it's like this is what happens when the reveal isn't done right or it's done like too early or whatever like there's a time and a place for the reveal and if it happens right now like under these circumstances things will just fall into chaos like i feel like this episode is like a weird lesson for the fans as well i really like that but yeah that is basically everything for me guys i feel much better about doing my video this way i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you later bye thank you for watching and thank you to our wonderful patrons over on patreon who support the channel their names will scroll through now